What is the percent composition of iron, sulfur, and oxygen in iron to sulfate? Well, first thing is we got to find the total mass and then the, finding those percents, easy peasy. I have this table to help us organize our thoughts. Bam. So the first thing we're going to do is write down the elements in the compound. So we have iron, we have sulfur, and we have oxygen. Next is then to write down the number of atoms of each. So at the bottom of iron, there is a one. That means there's one iron. In other words, we got to look at the subscripts here to find the number of atoms. At the bottom of sulfur here, there is also a one. So therefore, there's one sulfur. And at the bottom of oxygen, there's four oxygen. We're going to take those number of atoms then and, divide, uh, and multiply it by the mass of each element. And these masses are found on the periodic table. So let's take a look. Here's iron, 55.85. Oxygen is 16. And sulfur is about 32.07. So let's write them in. So 55.85 for iron, sulfur is going to be about 32, 32.07, and oxygen is 16. Then all we simply have to do is multiply the row on a cross to find the total mass of each element in the compound. So the total mass of iron here is going to be 55.85, the total mass of sulfur is going to be 32.07, and then the total mass of oxygen is going to be 64. Last but not least, just add this column together to find the total mass of the entire compound. So when we add that together, we get 151.92. And there you have it. There's the total mass. Now that's the first step of finding the percent compositions of each of these elements. And uh, next I'm going to add a simple uh, column to the table and uh, we're going to find those percents. Watch. Bam. So to find the mass percent of iron, we're simply going to take the total mass of the iron. So we're looking at this column, total mass of the iron, which is 55.85. And we're going to simply divide it by then the total mass of the entire compound, which is 151.96 units of mass. Don't worry about the units because they're going to cancel. And by the way, this is a simple percent formula, part over whole times 100. So when we calculate that on out, on out it works out to be about 36, 36.76%. That's it for iron. Next would be sulfur, right? So we have 32. The total mass of the sulfur is 32.07 divided by the total mass of the compound is 196 times 100. And then all we're going to do is simply do that um, multiplication and division, and it works out to be 21.1, I guess, 1 or so, considering the rounding. And then last but not least, same thing for oxygen here. We're going to take 64, and we're going to divide it by the 151.96. Notice how easy this is with the structure. This works out to be then 42.13. And if you added these percents together, it should add up to 100. It's a nice, simple way to check yourself um, before you wreck yourself. Uh, but basically, when you do this, um, you know, if you added up the exact percents, it would equal exactly 100. Since the rounding here, it might be off by 100th, but it really doesn't make a difference. I don't <laughs> think it is, but it could be. Anyway, uh, that's all. That's it. Now you know how to find the percent compositions of each of those elements inside of iron to sulfate. Thanks so much for tuning in. We've got thousands of other videos out there for you. Check out our channel. We'd love to help you with more. Take care.